I'm Arnita Swickard. I'm here with Matt Bauman of Buckeye Lake for Tomorrow. We've decided to combine our efforts in raising awareness for the water quality at Buckeye Lake. What we're doing today is talking with Matt, hearing what they're doing, and starting a series of videos detailing their future plans going forward. Matt, tell us a little bit about Buckeye Lake for Tomorrow. So Buckeye Lake for Tomorrow has been around for 14 years. We've worked with uh, Licking, Perry, Fairfield County Soil and Water, Ohio Department of Natural Resources, Ohio EPA. Uh, at the beginning, we uh, worked on a nutrient reduction plan that was actually written by one of our members, Mer Parthlow, and it was signed off by all the counties and villages all around Buckeye Lake. Uh, it was a plan to reduce nutrients in Buckeye Lake and help improve our water quality. And that was our kickoff. We're actually here in the heart of Millersport and in a location that we can actually see the dredge. So the dredge is actually one of the water quality initiatives of Buckeye Lake for tomorrow. Tell us a little bit about it. So we worked really hard with uh, our local or with our state legislators and all the local uh, governments to try and get a dredge for Buckeye Lake, a new dredge. Ours was outdated, and the goal is to actually dredge the entire lake. Uh, there's 140 years of sediment on the bottom of the lake that's full of nutrients that keeps recharging our water table with these nutrients. And we want to remove that in order to make our water clean. So is our, is our dredge running now? No, the dredge is not running at this time. Uh, so when they pump all that material out of the lake, they have to put it someplace. And we have to create a dredge material retention area, DMRA, to put it in. And that's what's happening right now. They're building that site. And if they didn't build that site, then the stuff would just go all over the place and run right back into the lake. So we have to have a site to store it in. That's what's going on. That's great. We're here at Brooks Park on the south side of the lake at a man-made wetland. It's my understanding Buckeye Lake for Tomorrow helped kick this off. Tell us more about it. Okay, so Buckeye Lake for Tomorrow through the Buckeye Lake Watershed Coordinator uh, put in a request to Ohio Department of Natural Resources to put silt traps in here at Brooks Park to help catch some of the nutrients to keep from coming into the lake. It morphed into this beautiful wetland, uh, which does an incredible job. It's actually a nutrient reduction chain. It takes all the nutrients out of the water, sucks it into the wetland, so clean water runs into our lake. And we need more of these around the lake. Uh, we're actually gonna kick off, or actually break ground on another one in the back of Maple Bay yet this summer. And we're uh, looking for one over off of Honey Creek. That's our next place. We're here at Fairfield Beach, one of the targeted areas of geese control for Buckeye Lake for tomorrow. Tell us about the need for geese control here at Buckeye Lake. So uh, geese in general, Canada geese specifically, produce about a thousand pounds of waste a year. Geese that you see here in the summertime, they're here all year round, they don't migrate. They were brought here by a gentleman called Father Goose back in the late 70s, he brought 12 geese. There's now over 30,000 geese in central Ohio. They have no natural predators. So what we're trying to do is to discourage the geese from nesting in our area because if they nest in your area, then all the young come back and they nest in your area. Two geese can become 500 geese in four and a half years. So we have a thousand geese in our watershed, which uh, the last number said 1,800, but if we had 1,000, that's 500 tons of waste in our watershed that's being dumped. And you know, geese go on the ground, the rain washes it into the water, and it's full of nutrients and bad bacteria, which we don't want in our water. So we're controlling the geese population to help keep the water clean. So you have a little green laser. Tell me a little more about this green laser and how it works. So we have these little green lasers that we pass out. Uh, they work very easily. You just push the button and it makes a green line. The geese see it as a stick. Uh, if you put it into the geese, close to the geese, it scares them away because you're intruding into their area. So we use these green lasers and we pass them out to locals to help move the geese along, keep them from nesting in uh, areas like Fairfield Beach. So originally at Fairfield Beach, there was 27 nests when we started this project. Now there's one nest. In one year, we reduced it by 26. So uh, that's, a, that's a great thing. And we've done the same thing at the bog and we've had some success at Onion Island also. So it doesn't hurt them, it just scares them. That's right, it doesn't hurt the geese at all. It just scares them and gets them to move. And if they're lazy by nature and if you keep moving the same group, they won't come back. And that's what's happened here. 
We're here at Papa Boo's and I see some bubbles in the, in the water. Are you responsible for those bubbles? Yes, we are. So the bubbles in the water that you see at Papa Boo's and Island House and Copper Penny and many other places around the lake, many dead end canals are part of the Buckeye Lake Aeration Project. And we're uh, putting air into the water to reduce the growth of the algae. The algae doesn't like the air. And of course the algae is not good for us. So we're in the process of trying to get about 55 aerators installed all around the lake to improve our water quality even more. What we just shared with you is just a quick overview of the many projects that Buckeye Lake for Tomorrow is working on. Matt, I want to personally thank you and the team at Buckeye Lake for Tomorrow for your time, your work, your all the hours you spend on this and improving water quality. What we have sent out in the mail that you may have received is a postcard that says jump for Buckeye Lake. It's our way of sharing and getting people involved. So hashtag jump for Buckeye Lake. Get involved, take a video, post it, help us raise awareness and funds so we can continue to improve the water quality here at Buckeye Lake.